and that's going to be our next section. So where is the service portal? The service portal is going to be at service.ringcentral.com. This is the website you're going to go to post activation to be able to make modifications to your extension. Under the service portal, um, they're going to be under your settings tab. Secondly, while we're in here, let's go talk about how we're going to forward calls to coworkers, right? That's going to be done under call handling and forwarding. Call handling and forwarding, in a nutshell, um, controls how calls come into this extension, right? I know there's a lot of stuff going on, on the screen, but let me explain it in plain English. In the top right, left-hand corner of our screen, it's saying that during user hours, calls are going to flow into this list down below sequentially, meaning one after the other. And these are the devices that are going to be hit as part of this list and for how long. So I have my apps that I have on my computer and I have a Polycom phone at my office as well. So what does this mean? Well, if somebody calls me, it's going to first attempt me at my apps for the first ring or five seconds. So whether you are using the desktop application or the mobile application on your iPhone or Android, it will always attempt you there first. Okay, so let's say a call comes in, it will attempt me on my computer if I'm logged in, it'll come up as a pop-up, and it'll try me there for about five seconds. Okay, if I don't answer that call and I ignore it, it will continue to roll to my second device on this list, which is my Polycom. We will then proceed to ring that for an additional 20 seconds. Okay, then if it, I don't pick up there, where does it go? Well, it has nowhere else to go, so where does it go? It goes straight to voicemail. Okay, so that's the general layout, have calls flow in. So you can adjust the duration of how things are rung for, et cetera. Now, what if I want to forward a call to a colleague? There are typically two situations that I find that uh, end users most commonly will forward calls. One, I ask a coworker, for example, to cover calls that I can't get to, right? Let's say I know I'm expecting a lot of calls for the day and I simply want my coworker, Luke, to cover calls that I miss, right? First, I go to Luke, ask him, are you okay with this? He says, okay. And the way I would actually add the coworkers to this list is not using these fields on the right here, okay? These are for, co these are for external numbers only, not for coworkers on um, direct numbers, okay? Um, also, at the top, a lot, of a lot of people misconstrue this as a way to do that as well. If you click this, it just simply creates another one of these custom external fields, okay? To actually add a coworker, we're gonna use the three dots in the top right. I'm gonna click it and click forward to others phones. From here, the system is actually going to pull up every single phone on your account. Okay, so whether it's a soft phone, whether it's a hard phone, meaning a software-based device or a physical device, I can do a search for Luke's device. So Luke has a Polycom phone, and that's the primary way I would like those calls to be distributed to him. And if I select that, I hit done. Okay, remember, you're not selecting Luke's extension, you're selecting his phone. So a common question that comes up is if it rings to Luke's extension uh, and he doesn't pick up, does it go to his voicemail? No, it doesn't. Okay, It's just reaching out to his phone through your extension. So when a call routes through here, it still retains your extension and still goes to your voicemail even if Luke doesn't pick up. But you can see here now, now I have a sequence that will first attempt me for the first five seconds of my apps, then my Polycom phone for the next 20 seconds. If I don't pick up that, it'll then roll to Luke's phone for an additional 20 seconds, and then finally go to voicemail. Again, it does not go to Luke's voicemail as part of this step, okay? You can, uh, in fact, forward voicemails to him if you wish. So if I ask Luke, hey, are you okay with both covering my calls as well as covering any voicemails? You could go into messages and notifications, and for those of you that were paying attention, under messages and notifications, there's an option on the right that says message recipient. So I could potentially point this to Luke's extension if I wanted to do that as well, okay? The other scenario that you'll want to probably create is if you just want Luke to cover all your calls, right? So I don't wanna, I don't wanna intercept any calls. Let's say I'm not feeling well for the day, I need to go home, and I ask Luke, hey, do you mind if you cover my calls for the rest of the day? You still do the same step as, as I just showed, right? You still use the three dots, you add them to this list just as you see here. There's one additional step I need to take. I need to turn off my Polycom phone, obviously since I'm not gonna be able to take calls, and I'm also gonna turn off my app since I'm not gonna be able to take calls there either. And when I press save, now 
all calls that come into my extension will go out to Luke's phone as part of my extension. Okay, and again, if he doesn't pick up, it still goes to my voicemail. And let's say I come in the next day, I'm feeling a little bit better, and I want to undo what I did. All I need to do is go back in here, turn on my phone, turn on my apps with these switches, and then simply turn off Luke's phone. And if you have a phone that is not native to this extension, turn off and then saved, what it'll do automatically is actually remove it. So you'll see when I go back in here, take a look, we're back to where we started, okay? So regardless of your situation, these are the bare basics of how to forward calls to colleagues, et cetera. Again, these fields are not designed for coworkers, but more if you wanna forward it to an external number, right? So if I'm not feeling well, um, um, I can always go to my grandma's house, I can click add call forwarding phone and type in grandma and put in an external number. And if I do use an external number, I have to make sure to put in a full 10 digit phone number and you'll see it just adds it to the list. Okay, again, if I don't want it, I simply just remove it, hit save, and we're back to where we started. So the service portal has a lot of other options in here, um, but again, most of those are set up automatically for you.